Hi, everybody. So, um, I promised to make a, um, a video with the full process of my uh, ah, my flowers. Um, and people were asking me, what do you need, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let me just go through once. I need base color. I use Amsterdam white, titanium white. You need the colors that you want to use in your painting. I have a little cup of my base color with silicones in it. And I only use it in the swipe, not in the others. It's just this little cup. Blue torch, why? To remove bubbles from your paint, if there are any silicones. A spray bottle with just water. A swipe, it's a kitchen towel and da -da, a blue. So, okay, let's start and let's paint. So I have put on my base color and now I will set up the colors for the swipe. I will start with my gold. Oops, a bit too much maybe, I don't know. And um, my blue. Now it's a bit of a phthalo blue so I don't know how they will work. This is the first time that I'm using, oh that's pretty full. <laughs> That's pretty. Um, the first time that I'm using a phthalo color in this technique, so uh, this is a full color. It's um, a turquoise blue. And then I thought, you know what? <laughs> Use some pink. I just bought some new colors, pink colors. So I was, I like it. I'm not very much of a pink person, but yeah. And then what you do, Take your base color with the silicones in it, stir it, and then I place it behind the gold. And there are some air bubbles in there too, so I will torch that first. <laughs> Looks nice, the colors together like this. So let's hope. Oh yeah, and I'm making a diagonal that way. So I take my paper towel. Let's see if it's big enough. It's too big. It's, and I don't know if it, if, if it helps, but I, I'm... How do you know the, how do you call that? Rip it up a bit. And I spray with water. And I don't know how much water I put on there. I <laughs> just try. I, I just try. Okay, that should be wet enough. I place it over the um, white and the silicones and I just pull. And I think that will make a bit of a swirl. I don't know if that works, but. Okay. Put that aside. Oh, shoot. You see? <laughs> A trip. <laughs> okay. Now let's see if you can pull the colors from underneath. Yeah, there you go. Can, I hope you can see it. Oh, this is beautiful and blue. Wonderful. You see all the cells popping up? Now... I hope that I can find my 
pink. <laughs> and my turquoise. I think they are mixed over. Yeah, wonderful. Oh, that's beautiful. Love it. Maybe we will go to white. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So now you can see the veins of gold, and that's actually what I was going for. These veins around the blues and the pink and the turquoise. It is pretty enough, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. But anyway. Now what I will do, what I do is stretch it a bit to see, but I can see there is n not a lot of white here, so it needs to flow over um, the the, uh, the base color. So I will put in a bit white just to make sure that it will flow. But this side, I'll torch it again because there are others in there. here it's not mu not much but yeah okay now <laughs> I will see what it does if I tilt it that way. and I don't want to destroy these beautiful gold veins so I see how far I can stretch it yep take it all the way down You know, <laughs> I think I don't want to tear this up because I think it's beautiful like it is, but yeah. <laughs> oh shoot. <sighs> okay, I think I've tilted it enough. I can work with this for the flowers. That's beautiful. One of the things that I see always is that you have these fish fish eyes, so that there'll be something of a circle in it. I need to reinforce because and this I will leave for just 15 minutes and yeah, then we will do the balloon kisses or the balloon art. Yeah, beautiful. We'll be back. So, okay, I left my painting for somewhere around 30 minutes to see, no, actually to just let it set. And I lost my balloon. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and um, see we can do something beautiful. I hope it's, uh, yeah. So the first balloon is always, <laughs> first, it's always a difficult thing. So I'm trying to, I will start here. There you go. Let me get a paper towel so I can wipe my balloon. And then you just start creating. And as I said, I love to have some of these details um, put them in my painting. And I think this is beautiful too, so I will leave that. And I will just choose to see where I want to put my balloon and create my flowers. have waited a bit more a bit longer I think I don't know what I think yep 
you need a lot of paper towels, right? <laughs> okay, see how this works here. Yeah. And if you want to create smaller flowers, you just dip it like that. For the smaller, if you want bigger flowers, you just push it in there and pull it up. And you have bigger flowers. It's that easy. <laughs> the paint will do the work for you, isn't that nice? Yeah, this is beautiful. I am happy that I used the pink because it, you, you can see there is no pink in all these cells, but if you see here there is pink, so I'm happy that I used the pink. It's beautiful. The reason why I clean my balloon every time I push it down because I want to keep my colors as clean as I can. That's the reason why I do I am doing that. But sometimes if there are beautiful colors on my balloon, I will place it somewhere where I think I need some more color. So yeah, you just try and just go with the flow. I have all these colors on there and I will just see if I like it and I put it somewhere extra. There you go. I don't think about how I should do the things. I just do them and see what they do to your composition. Where your colors work. Um, yeah. You can use a smaller balloon and that's the only thing that you need to do then is inflate it a bit less. And that's your smaller balloon if you want to. And you will get really pretty details. something that I have to be aware of sometimes I forget I can see because it's a bit um, uh, doing something to the shapes of the flowers so yeah For me, I want to have like a waterfall of flowers from bright to these lighter colors. So I want to fill this up. So I have to pull some paint somewhere. I think I will take this one and put it there. 
And if you need more paint, you just put paint on your balloon and just do it like that. Let's see. A bit more. Darker blue. clean <laughs> not me <coughs> not even my clothes <laughs> If it's not okay, then um, you know, change it. It's that simple. Now, watch that you don't lose your balloon and it will fall on your, your piece because <laughs> it happened to me. Don't you like that sound? It's your canvas that's singing to you. <laughs> oh, oh. Says and she continues. <laughs> yeah. Now this is how I do my balloon art of my 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 flower artwork and um, yeah I hope that it gives well you inspired by it and start painting because that works for me. It worked for me like that too. I saw some people on YouTube and I was like, wow, let's start paint again. Because I haven't done this for years and years and years. I made completely different uh, paintings back in the days, but yeah, I embraced this way of working with fruit acrylics. I love it. I really, really love it. So, okay, I can give you a close up, just a sec. So here you go. Oh, the flashlight is on. Yeah. So this is the general idea of how I do my flower paintings. And I will be working on this a bit more, just a bit more. But yeah. <clears throat> goes down to really soft and now the, the the blue that you see is really vibrant as you can see it's grayish on this yeah it always turns a bit grayish it's a pity if someone knows how to make sure that your colors are more vibrant um, on the video uh, uh, in real life than on the video let me know because I don't know how to change that so yeah, 
And I love the way it flows. I love the way that it's dark here, flowing down like into light colors almost. Yeah, how do you call that? So, but this is the general idea of how I do the flower paintings. Yeah, okay, I will show you the, um, the dried result, of course, as soon as I can. And um, I hope you enjoy this video for the ones <laughs> who wanted to see the full process. Um, yeah, happy with it. So, yeah, let's keep on creating beauty, people. And uh, let me know what you think. Okay, bye.